Okay, I've been diddling around with this, and I think I've got it figured out now. <clears throat> so I've got Home Designer 9 open in my XP uh, uh, operating system, and I didn't <laughs> I didn't have any manufacturers libraries either. So what I did was I took the plants library, right clicked on it with you know Home Designer Pro open, and I hit this command here. I'm not going to hit it again, but I left clicked on that, and then uh, a little dialog came up, and with a slider and, it, and XP, it takes a bit of time. But I exported this library here, and this should work on any manufacturer loser <laughs> loser library. Excuse me, that's a Freudian slip. <clears throat> User libraries that you might have, you can just open them. I don't have any. Right click on them, and then. Um, uh, export to copy to export. Now, where does that go on your hard drive? Now, that's fine within in the program. In, in the program, it went. I exported it and it came here, and then uh, <clears throat> I went over to uh, library and uh, import. Hit the import command, which takes you to the database library folder on your hard drive. It's in My Documents, Home Designer Pro 9 Data, Database Libraries. And that's what the inside of this folder looks like. Now, just so you understand, I'm going to open, uh, let me close this. I'm going to go to Start, right-click, right-click on Start, and select Explore, which opens Windows Explorer. And then we'll navigate. I just want you to get the complete mass on this. We'll go to My Documents, Home Designer 9 Pro Data, and Database Libraries. Here's where that folder is on your hard drive. And <clears throat> you can see the export is uh, 5.77 megabytes. The import is the same size, 5.77, because I exported the plants library, and it became this file on the hard drive. And then from Pro 9, I imported it. And then it went to import. Well, let me show you what it looks like. I mean, it takes it took several minutes on my six core PC, which is a pretty good PC, but it it's too too long for a video. In the program, let me close this. Yeah, I went up to uh, once I exported the the library I wanted to save. Then I went up here to the library subcommand and I imported the same library. And I selected export. The export file is the one I wanted to import, and then imported it in the program. <clears throat> now, what you would want to do is any of libraries in your old uh, Home Designer Pro, you would right-click on them and copy to export, which would place them on your hard drive in this exports.calib file. And when you import them, see it doesn't come in with a different name. It, the library has a, a file name. See, it, it was plants. I exported it and it's named plants. And I imported it and it's named plants. I didn't have to name that myself. It, The file knew its own name, so to speak. So <clears throat> how you would do it to transfer from one computer to another, you uh, select the library you want to export and copy it to export and then uh, <clears throat> once you've got all the libraries that you want you go over here to Windows Explorer and make a uh, put this copy here copy it copy this to a thumb drive or a floppy disk or a CD or a DVD uh, writable disk and then you put this on your hard drive and you uh, put it on your hard drive and then open Pro 9 on your new computer and go over here to the under library and import. And it'll look in this database libraries folder on in my documents under the folder Home Designer Pro 9 data database libraries. That's where it's looking and then you would you would uh, <clears throat> Select that and import it. I'm not going to import it because it's, it takes 
several minutes for it to imp import because it's a big file. <clears throat> now, once it's in your, once it's on your computer, of course, you don't want ever everything. I mean, if it comes in named wrong, you can right click over here and rename it. I don't think you can put it in manufacturer's libraries anymore. Everything's going to go into user's libraries or, let's see, I'm going to left click and drag that and see if it'll go up here. Okay, it didn't move. Yeah, it's moving. Okay. Once it's imported, then you can move it to your user libraries. I don't think you can move, you can move uh, even though it's a, originally a manufacturer library, I don't think you can move it. See, it's this is what I was talking about in terms of uh, the slowness of XP. Same action on my Windows 7 uh, partition is many, many times faster. But I just left click and drug that file up here to user and it should park there. And then your import, well, we'll, we'll see when this is done. <clears throat> the import file should, in your database libraries folder, should then be uh, back to some default size. I'm, I'm guessing. I haven't, I haven't had to do this in years, so but I hope this helps you. But it's <clears throat> stuff you do inside Pro and it goes to on your hard drive. Uh, see, I'm moving this export CALIB into the user like CALIB. Let's see, let's refresh that. Yeah, see, it's getting larger. I don't know if you can see that figure, but it's getting larger because the transfer process is, is uh, occurring in uh, Home Designer Pro. It's a little bit involved, but it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward, really. And it's just a Windows uh, 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 <clears throat> application, software application. It's fairly standard about exporting stuff and importing things. It's just about done. So I imported it, I exported it, and then I then of course you can put it on your new computer. That copy that file that's uh, your <clears throat> export file and then you import it and then you can move it to your user library and name, rename it to uh, uh, keep things organized. Boy, it's, see I, I told you it takes it takes a while for this uh, to chug chug through there and get it and get it done. I didn't want to show you the export process and then the import process and then just moving it from here to uh, user libraries and you can see it, it's taken a, you know, a couple of minutes couple or three minutes to do that. <clears throat> but this is illustrative uh, and should give you some idea of what to expect and exactly what's physically happening. From an active Home Designer Pro 9, you export to this uh, export file. <clears throat> and then uh, from within, now once it's on your new computer, then you import it and it'll, it'll drop into this file. And then you can physically move it from Home Designer Pro via the library browser into your user library. See, now these are all becoming the same size because they're one's being cloned into another. <clears throat> okay, see now import is empty because I moved the file that was in it into user libraries. And export, I'm going to just right click on that and delete it because it's just a copy. And it should go into a folder named Trash. Uh, maybe they didn't have the Trash folder in, in this older version, in 9. But in, in more modern versions, there's actually a Trash folder that, which you, that you can empty. <clears throat> well, it's going to take a long time just, just to delete it. But hopefully this will be helpful to you. Uh, and that what you do in the program does something on your hard drive. Uh, this is Windows Explorer. And we're back into Home Designer Pro 9. And that's how you would do it. You'd open it on one computer, export the libraries you want to export, and then copy that export file onto some uh, movable media, copy it onto your new hard drive, and then uh, import it, open Pro Home Designer Pro 9 on the new computer, and then you go to the library uh, drop down and import. Use the import command. But you click on it, it gives you this interface. You go to the database li uh, libraries folder and uh, click on this import, and then you click open. I'm not going to do that again. But that's the process. 
and you would do that for each library. Uh, I, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend doing them all at once and just importing them once. I, I'm a little more conservative. I would, I would want to do it um, one library at a time. I know that's, that probably is probably time consuming. I'm sorry. But that's my advice. You, you don't have to take it. You can export all your libraries all at once and then, and then copy that export file to some media. It may get very large, so you're going to have to have pretty, uh, okay, there's the one I just moved physically into there and okay. I deleted it, but it didn't delete. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Maybe I just need to refresh that. Go over here and click on my uh, library browser again. Where'd it go? There it is. No, it's still there. Oh, the export folder is still there, but it's empty, see? So in, in Pro 9, you delete something, and it just deletes. It doesn't go to a trash folder. In, in more modern versions, there's a trash folder. It's kind of, I suppose that's a fail-safe. But anyway, I hope this, uh, <coughs> I don't need that. I'm going to delete that. I hope this has helped you. Now you take an existing library, export it, and copy your export file to some media, move the media to your new computer, and then open Pro 9 and go to the library command and import that same file. And I, if, my advice is to do one library file at a time, and if that takes longer, that you're probably safer than doing that, trying to do them all at once. It would take forever, and your, your media size might uh, become overwhelmed. Anyway, I hope this helps you and, and others that are trying to transfer files from one uh, <coughs> older version to another another version. The same process is pretty much the way it's done today, except that they've streamlined it. It goes a little bit faster in Windows 7, and there's an additional folder called Trash in the library browser, which is not in <coughs> Home Designer 9. Okay, that's it.